And temple. Angel Within, I do want to know the story, uh, uh, but you know, the, the abbreviated form, I'm afraid. But okay. Yeah. Well, it's a, um, the... Uh, You know, I, I just want to say one thing. You know, it's it's very hard, songwriter to songwriter. There's so many ways that I would change half of my friends' songs. <laughs> you know, I would, I'm not kidding. I would listen to something and I say, "Well, oh, yeah. why didn't he do this? And why didn't he do that?" I can't stop it. Yeah. I really can't turn it off. And I'm sure you do the same thing. I know Harry yeah, right, does. Yeah. We we all do that. So. Sure. So you know, it's it's a great thing. It's a, it's a wonderful opportunity for me to be able to sit here and not be able to touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> and after a while, what happens is I start saying, "Oh, hold on, look, maybe he did that because of this." You know, maybe I'm not so smart. Uh -huh. You know, so you know. I think just, I said just, just know that that that. Yeah. It, many of us are sitting here thinking, "Well, why did he say it that way? Why?" And then you know. <laughs> Well, you know, you're, you, well, you're, you're a writer, and that's what writers do. You know, they, they want to help. <laughs> Dennis Johnson uh, did, had a whole thing about, you know, if he reads 100 pages of a, of, a, of a book, it's a masterpiece because he usually just bails. He just uh, he says, I want to help. My, the editor, my internal editor keeps going. And, you know, it's not you, a know I went to, you know Dave Morrison. Yeah. Right, of course uh -huh. you know him well. He's a songwriter. I, I, I heard him do this song. It's a great song. I went up to him afterwards because one little thing, I thought, why, why didn't he do this? I mean, and you did that to me with my song, I Can Be Bad. But my way of doing this, I listen and I think, well, that's, that's fine, you do it that way. And then I started doing it the way he did it because it was better. Yeah. But with David Morrison, I said it to him and I said, why don't you do this? He says, what? <laughs> He was so offended that I even... Dave and Morrison thought, offended? Whoa, okay, I'm not going to do that again. And so I try not <laughs> to do it to anybody. But you know, really, I mean, I, my song, I Can Be Bad, has that, that line, um, what is it? Uh, I, I'm, gonna try, I'm telling you this because it's so much better. Um, Being a shoe. Like what? Yeah, besides that, I'm talking about the smell thing. Smell like. Something about my personal, uh, I, I will, something my personal hygiene, I'll smell like the man of your dreams. That's what he said. Oh, to hell with my personal hygiene. I will smell like the man of your dreams. What I had said was, to hell with my personal hygiene, I will be, I'll be just like the man of your dreams. I didn't hear the obvious yeah. that yeah. the obvious thing. I will yeah. smell like the man of your dreams because it's like a negative thing about sure. men. And he said, "What did you say? Well, I'll smell like men." I'm thinking, "Yeah, well, why didn't I?" You know, I mean, to me, that's the way to respond to it. You know, it's like a gift. <laughs> anyway, Dave Morrison is my friend, though. Yeah. <laughs> in, 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 in all fairness to Dave, he's a genius yeah, songwriter. He's a really good song. I really, really love his stuff a lot. And I even wrote on my album, Notes for a Novel, there's a song about yeah, Dave. Yeah. Morrison, Morrison fixed, fixed his, his guitar. guitar. Yeah. About a guitar he broke and fixed. Get it, and you'll hear the whole story. He actually, he actually lends harmony and, and heckles me during the recording of the song. Because <laughs> that's how he is. He's, Dave, yeah. Dave does a lot for the songwriting community. He's a... Uh, Anyway, he's an old friend, old friend. I like him. So uh, here we go. This is a uh, real quick story behind this, a companion song to a short story I wrote that is unpublished. So I will tell you the background story very quickly. Uh, my producer, Chad Watson's wife, is a vocal coach. She gives singing lessons. And uh, many years ago, like about 15 years ago, uh, she had, and she has students in her home, and her uh, two boys who were uh, young, young teenagers at the time, now one of them's pitching for the Royals, you know, uh, Cam Lowe. After the uh, student left, they go, hey, Mom, do you know who that was? And, uh, and she goes, yes, that's so-and-so. And they go, no, 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 she was a uh, playmate of the century or something, and now she's a porno star. <laughs> they live in Chatsworth. And uh, so, uh, and Pam, who's a very, very spiritual person and very sweet and, and uh, very talented. Uh, she said, uh, you know, I wonder if I 
she witnessed to her and whatever, you know, she's got uh, very strong religious beliefs and, and she and she shared that with Chad and Chad told me and, and I, I'm like looking at him and I go, oh, okay, you know, and I wrote this song and then played it for him and he was so upset. He goes, you know, how dare you take this story my wife told me in confidence and <laughs> turn it into a song. And I go, I'm like, this is what I do, man. What are, you, are you blind? I mean, you know, Ray Carver stole stuff from people constantly. He stole this short story Cathedral from his own wife, Tess, you know. That's actual happened to them. And uh, anyway, uh, a year goes by and I, and I backed off, you know, and I said, well, okay, we won't, you know, and I, I started playing it when I didn't play with Chad. And people loved it. And so, and then I sent it into the International song, Narrative Songwriting Competition, and it won in the lyric category. So I said, I handed him a, a CD demo, and I said, Chad, you're not going to want to hear this, but I made a demo of this because it won the International <laughs> Narrative Songwriting Competition. <laughs> international Narrative Song. You play it for Pammy, and if she doesn't like it, if she shares your views, I, I will never have you play that song with me. I'll, I'll, and I'll either just record it solo on an album or something. He goes, okay, buddy. Chad's great. He's best, best friend. And a uh, month later, he calls me up at 3 in the morning, as musicians do, and left a message on my machine. He says, buddy, you are so off the hook. He says, I played that for Pammy, and she loved it. She beat me up for putting you through that. So here's the song. My boys recognized her, said that girl gets around. Mama, watch out, she's the talk of the town. I shooed them away and invited her in. From the cut of her clothes, she was well versed in sin. Her body was buxom, her face it was worn. I could tell right away she'd been working the porn. Lord knows how she found me, this rough little flower. I teach them to sing and a charge by the hour. Many a young girl wants to carry that torch, but they first have to make it past my front porch. Some come through the website, some by word of mouth, but I'm awful particular about who enters my house. Cause I'm a good Christian woman or I'm trying to be. Got two boys that I raised since my husband left me. And I don't think it's fair to judge someone's skin. Cause in each one of us, there's an angel within. Angel within. Angel within. I don't think you should stay here. I started to say. She lowered her head. Please don't send me away. I quit the skin trade and I'm now six weeks clean. I'm through with that life. I just want to sing. I thought I should act before kindness fails. So I pulled down the shade and started some scales. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, help those who help themselves. Her voice was unsteady, she didn't have that much range, but after several weeks, I noticed a change. She developed vibrato and a tone all her own. A smoky contralto as tough as a stone. I taught her to coo and I taught her to belt. I taught her to sing every feeling she felt. Cause I'm a good Christian woman or I'm trying to be. Got two boys that I raised since my husband left me. And I don't think it's fair to judge someone's skin. Cause in each one of us, there's an angel within. Angel within. Angel within. 
My boys are asleep and it's my quiet time. I'm watching a show about the late Patsy Klein. Patsy did some hard living, embarrassing things, for she got the chance to teach the world how to sing. Like we peel back the layers, scrape off the dirt until sorrow takes wing like a beautiful bird. I ain't seen her in weeks. I guess the road took a fork. Some go to Las Vegas, others New York. Where did she go? I didn't know where to search. I regret that I never took her down to my church. She just might go far if she stays off the meth. I whisper a prayer with my last waking breath. I'm a good Christian woman, or I'm trying to be. Got two boys sound asleep, and I'm lost in a dream. And I expect soon enough I will see her again. When the world recognizes the angel within, angel within, angel within. Angel within all labor, there is profit. Thank you.